8.36 p.m. ETLA Las Vegas Bruce Cassidy was in Las Vegas this week because his Boston Bruins went 5-0, 2-0, 1-2 for 112 points, a performance that earned him a Jack Adams nomination for Coach of the Year. But after a second-round playoff exit, Cassidy has been thinking about how his Bruins could be even better next, and those thoughts have included superstar free agent winger Ilya Kovalchuk. Can the Islanders keep John Tavares? What's the deal with Corey Crawford? What will Vegas do with all of that cap space we dig in? No American family has ever had three players taken in the first round of the NHL draft, but in the next few years, the Hughes brothers have a shot, that would be interesting. You never want to speculate, but he would be a nice fit. A top six guy. He can score. He's a big body. It would be a nice addition. He's going to make your team better. And he would sure make us better, Cassidy said on Tuesday. Kovalchuk, 35, is an unrestricted free agent after spending the past fives playing for St. Petersburg Ska in Russia's Continental Hockey League. He has 417 goals and 399 assists in 816 NHL games, but HASNT played in the league since 2013 with the New Jersey Devils. This HASNT stopped teams from courting him, and the Bruins were expected to make their bid. Cassidy said he WASNT sure where GM Don Sweeney was in the process of going after Kovalchuk, and said he WASNT yet consulted on whether he needed to be part of that sales pitch to the star winger. What he has done, admittedly, is figure out where Kovalchuk could potentially fit on his team, including whether he could supplant top-line right-wing David Pastnak with stars Patrice Bergeron and Brad March and or, perhaps, move to the second line, which is in need of a left-wing after the Rick Nash experiment didnt produce results last, there's a hole right now with David Krejci and Jake Debrusque. I know we're trying to fill that in-house. But is there someone out there that can make it work? asked Cassidy, rhetorically. If it's Kovalchuk, he'd probably go on Bergeron's right side or Krejci's right side. That's the simple thing that comes to mind, there are plenty of options if Kovalchuk opts for Boston. Clearly, a coach can dream.